In this video, I'm going to talk about vector operations. And there are two types. One is uh, sort of arithmetic and the other is relational. So I have two vectors, x and y, just arbitrary vectors. We can multiply them by a scalar. That is a number. Right? So I could say double every value in x by simply multiplying everything by 2. And the way to do that is to say, I'm going to give everything a variable name for the most part and just say, okay, double equals 2 times x. And it doubles everything in x. Great. We can also do, uh, say, trig functions. We could say trig equals, say, tangent of everything within x. It'll take every x value, assume it's a ra in radians, and take its uh, trig, uh, trig function. We can uh, total up all the values in a vector by just using a built-in function called sum. This is a built-in function in MATLAB. In other words, it says, oh, I know what you mean by sum, but you have to hand me something. And it's looking for a, or in this case, a vector. And I'm going to give it x. And it totals everything up for me. There are other uh, built-in functions. Uh, we've already seen one called length. So if I said uh, number equals length uh, x, it should tell me how many elements are in x, and there are four. So I could say, well, I've totaled everything up. There are four of them. I could take the average, 12 divided by 4. But there are other uh, functions, built-in functions in MATLAB. One of them is called mean. I'm going to list these out. Mean, uh, the other is sort. Uh, there's min and max as well. So you can try all of those, those built-in functions, and see what it see what it gives you. So we can multiply, we can apply some functions. There are some built-in functions that we can mess with uh, vectors. And we could also add or subtract. For instance, we could say, um, uh, let's say plus is equal to x uh, plus 3. Right, so it just adds 3 to every value on x. Now it's not changing x, right? Every time I put in a, a variable name, it comes over here in the workspace. So I still have my original x and y. I've got my trig array. It's the tangent of each of the x values. I've got my total, plus. All of these are still available for me to use if I wanted to. Now if I want to multiply, uh, say, every element in the matrix, um, say x times y, right? So I would have 1 times a minus 1 element by element, multiply both the first elements in x and y, both the second elements in x and y. If I just type x times y, it gives me an error. It says the dimensions of the matrix are not in a state that I can actually do matrix multiplication. But that's not really what I want to do. I just want to multiply element by element. And MATLAB gives us that. It says, well, Put a dot in front of it. So x dot times y will multiply element by element. So the dot operator on matrices or arrays gives that, that, us that capability. So we can do things like x squared. I can't say x squared. That will give me an error. But I can say raise it every element. Dot raise it every element squared. Okay, so now we can do algebraic expressions. We can do something like 2 times x. Remember, 2 is a scalar, so I can do that. I can subtract. No problem. Don't need a dot for that. y squared. So let's say 2x minus y squared. Well, with the y squared, now I need the dot. Kind of comes in pretty handy. Now the relationship or the relational operators are operators like less than, equal to, um, greater than, that type of thing, greater than or equal to. Um, and these are available in MATLAB also. If I want to find out if x is equal to y, are they the same vector? I could say x equals y. The problem with this, however, is remember equal is a an assignment operator. So I'm actually taking, in this statement, y and setting all its values into x. 
So now I have basically the same vector. I don't want that. I want to find out is x equal to y, element by element. So I have to use a double equals, and that tells MATLAB I'm asking a question. All right, does x equal y? And it's going to tell me where they do and where they don't. And it says, oh, 0 is false, 1 is true. So the first elements are not equal. The second element is equal. Well, that makes sense. They both are 2. All right, so we have that type of thing. We could say, um, where is, uh, is x less than 3? And it says, yes, in the first two positions. All right. We might want to ask something um, general like, uh, so this is giving us a, a position, but we might want to say, are any of the values in x, any of the values in x greater than 5? So this is a yes or a no. Are any of them? No. None of them are greater than 5. Uh, are all the values of y uh, less than 20? Why, yes, they are. All right, so the any and all, that type of thing, is telling us a yes or a no. It's not telling us a location. It's not telling us uh, what the values are. They're just saying, are they greater than 5? Yes or no. If I'd like to actually find the location, I'd actually like to know whether this um, particular vector has, say, a value greater than 5, and where is it, and what is it? All right, that would be nice to know. We use something called find. It's very important. It's very useful. So I'll find. So let's find, uh, let's find x uh, greater than Let's take a look at our x value. Let's say x greater than uh, 3. And it gives me 3 and 4. Find x greater than 3. So it goes over to my x. Let's look over here in the workspace. It goes over to x and it says, where are there any values greater than 3? And it tells me it's at the third location and the fourth location. So find is telling me the index or the location in the vector where the statement's true. Let's look at find y greater than 5. It's telling me it's at location 3 because at location 3 on y, it's a 7. All right, so it's purely giving me the location. The nice part about this is, I'm going to call it index, Index, um, we'll say it's find x uh, greater than 3. All right, so now I have a variable that happens to be called index, and it's 3 and 4. It says the location where it's greater than 3 is in location 3 and location 4. But I'd like to know what's there. What are the values? So I'm going to say, what are the values? of x, this is in the previous video if you watch that, what are the values of x at the index? What are those? And it hands me the actual values of x at location 3 and location 4. We could also do something like values equal I want to know the values of x at a particular uh, location, and I can find that location by now combining these two commands and saying the location I want is find the values of x where x is a mm, less than uh, 4. Now, now I'm combining find with this idea of an index in x going into x and saying, find those places where x is less than 4. And when you do, give me back the values.
and it hands it to us. Well, one last uh, area in relational operators are relational operators or, and, and not. So I will type those, what those look like uh, in here. So I have uh, and, which in MATLAB is above the 7. It looks like and. Uh, I'm putting these as comments uh, just so you see them. Or is above the enter um, or the forward slash. It's a straight line up and down. And the third one is uh, not, which is uh, tilde shift. So let's say uh, something like we can combine some of these. We could say x greater than 3. We'll, we'll say those are um, x greater than 3. So there's a vector. And then we'll say uh, y greater than 4 is y greater than 4. Let me get that. Now I can combine these two and I could say, well, tell me where x is greater than 3 and y is uh, greater than 4. And I think you can see it's in location 3. So there's quite a bit of power in all of these relational operators and this idea of element by element manipulation of um, vectors in MATLAB.